Good afternoon, my fellow YouTubers and model railroaders. Welcome to another edition of A and C and N scale and life journey. I've not been making many videos here lately due to the fact that um, I've not had a lot of energy and whatnot, but uh. And, of course, scheduling issues with uh, dialysis. But that aside, I have lots of energy today, and I have been working my tookus off. Let me tell you what. I have been priming and putting stuff together and just going bananas. All right, so let's uh, look at some of the stuff I've been priming today. All right, so I've been uh, priming this base and these lovely uh tanks of course the tanks go on the cylinder or on this base here if i can get it on there so yeah that's that um i prime this sanding tower yay and then um, I picked up these three cars a while ago, and I haven't uh, shown them to you guys. I'm thinking that uh, these two, this one here is a model power. It came in a little baggy, and it was uh, five bucks for this little pony tank here, a little beer keg. It's got metal wheels, but it's got the Rapido hook horns on them. I want to change those out sometime in the near future. And then, um, this is definitely a model power. This is a General Dynamics Corporation, uh, liquid carbonic division. And, uh, my father worked for General Dynamics. Uh, he was a welder. He helped build, uh, submar nuclear sub trident submarines. And, uh, has metal wheels on there. And, uh, has the hook horn couplers. Oop, knocking stuff over. And then uh, this is an Atlas center flow. This is actually really nice. Um, of course, it has the hook horns. It's missing a set of wheels, but that's okay. I plan on replacing these with uh, metal ones anyways. So it's all good. And then, of course, I did make a trip to uh, Harp Freight. And to pick up a caliper. It's not fancy or nothing. No, it's digital. It's pretty good. It does what I needed to do. Came with an extra battery. Uh, you can't can't knock that with a stick. So, yeah, free battery. Free battery is always good. And then another thing I picked up while I was there. A head visor. That magnifies and has a light. Yay! Gotta love that. And I need to put batteries in the light part. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I picked that up, you know, because I'm working on N scale, and, you know, even though I can see up close fairly well, it doesn't hurt to have an extra special little helper every now and again. And of course, I plan on picking up Z and T scale train sets in the near future. Um, once I get things squared away and get some, get some more moolah, 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 moolah. So, yep, I just uh, wanted to share that stuff with you. And I have been working my butt off on getting that lovely, lovely, awesome roundhouse together. I uh, primed another part for that. And I've got, uh, I'd say, two-thirds of the walls put together. Um, I'm slowly but surely taking and getting those together. Um, and it's coming together really nicely. Um, I had to do a little modification to uh, one of the pieces to get it to work the way I wanted it to. So... I mean, nothing major, just a little modification, and that's why I had to break out the dribble. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love sound effects. Uh, but yeah, just, 
I, I had a whole bunch of energy this morning and I'm just using it to get stuff done and hold on the camera's gonna get a little shaky because I want to show you a little something something else here all right so we all know I've got the helix here but I need to drill some holes way back there on this piece of board and right there and maybe some here also so uh what we're what i'm gonna try and do probably tomorrow i'm gonna take all the tr all the uh track off of it now that i know where to put it and whatnot and how to put it and uh i'm actually going to pick this up put it on its side and move it to my bedroom bedroom put it on the bed so that I can finish drilling the holes in this. And then of course I'm gonna to have to clear out up underneath because I'm gonna be making a mess up underneath of there. Uh, so that way I can get uh, stuff taken care of there. Um, and I don't know if I've showed you this yet or not, but move that. I've got track running up underneath the uh, helix, which I'll have to take out but that's fine. And I'm gonna put in a tunnel here and a tunnel there. This makes perfect sense as this will become the helix, the bottom part of the helix where there's no, no track from here down. I'm going to make like a barrier, a mountain, so to speak. So that way, you know, there's a reasonable reason for there to be a tunnel there and same thing with the double main on the uh, on the far side there and then of course i have the viaduct that goes up around the side so yeah it's going to be pretty cool um i can't wait to get this done it needs to get done um i need to have those feeders dropped so that uh i can get stuff going and of course not just the feeders but this the the lines for the switches alrighty then um thanks for stopping by and watching and please please be blessed and be careful my friends there's a crazy people out there in the world and have a blessed day